Hello friends and welcome to today's edition of The Couch. I'm Todd Tyler. Today's story is They're Made Out of Meat by Terry Bisson. They're made out of meat. Meat? Meat. They're made out of meat. Meat? There's no doubt about it. We picked up several from different parts of the planet, took them aboard our recon vessels and probed them all the way through. They're completely meat. That's impossible. What about the radio signals? The messages to the stars? They use radio waves, but the signals don't come from them. The signals come from machines. So who made the machines? That's who we want to contact. They made the machines. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Meat made the machines. That's ridiculous. How can meat make a machine? You're asking me to believe in sentient meat? I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. These creatures are the only sentient race in that sector, and they're made out of meat. Maybe they're like the Orphalae, you know, a carbon-based intelligence that goes through a meat stage. Nope. They're born meat, and they die meat. We studied them for several of their lifespans, which didn't take long. Do you have any idea what's the lifespan of meat? Ugh, spare me. Okay, maybe they're only part meat. You know, like the Wedeli, a uh, meat head with an electron plasma brain inside? Nope. We thought of that, since they do have meat heads, but like the Wedeli. But I told you, we probed them. They're meat all the way through. No brain? Oh, there's a brain, all right. It's just that the brain is made out of meat. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So, what does the thinking? You're not understanding, are you? You're refusing to deal with what I'm telling you. The brain does the thinking. The meat. Thinking meat? You're asking me to believe in thinking meat? Yes, thinking meat. Conscious meat. Loving meat. Dreaming meat. The meat is the whole deal. Are you beginning to get the picture, or do I have to start all over? Oh my god. God, you're serious then. They're made out of meat. Thank you. Finally, yes, they are indeed made out of meat. And they've been trying to get in touch with us for almost a hundred of their years. Oh my God, so what does this meat have in mind? First, it wants to talk to us. Then I imagine it wants to explore the universe, contact other sentiences, swap ideas and information, you know, the usual. We're supposed to talk to meat? That's the idea. That's the message they're sending out by radio. Hello, anyone out there? Anybody home? You know, that sort of thing. They actually do talk then. They use words, ideas, concepts. Oh, yes, except they do it with meat. I, I thought you just told me they used radio. They do, but what do you think is on the radio? Meat sounds. You know, when you slap or flap meat, it makes a noise. They talk by flapping their meat at each other. They can even sing by squirting air through their meat. Oh my God, singing meat? This is altogether too much. So, so what do you advise? Officially or unofficially? Both. Well, officially we are required to contact, welcome, and log in any and all sentient races or multi-beings in this quadrant of the universe without prejudice, fear, or favor. Unofficially, I advise that we erase the recordings and forget the whole thing. Oh, I was hoping you would say that. Seems harsh, but there is a limit. Do we really want to make contact with me? I agree 100%. What's there to say? Hello, meat. How's it going? But will this work? H how many planets are we dealing with here? Just one. They can travel to other planets in special meat containers, but they can't live on them. And being meat, they can only travel through sea space which limits them to the speed of light and makes the possibility of their ever making contact pretty slim. Infinitesimal, in fact. So we just pretend that there's no one home in the universe? That's it. Cruel. But you said it yourself. Who wants to meet meet? And the ones who have been aboard your vessels, the ones who you probed, you're sure they won't remember? They'll be considered crackpots if they do. We went into their heads and smoothed out their meat so that we're just a dream to them. A dream to meet. How strangely appropriate that we should be meat stream. And we marked the entire sector unoccupied. Good. Greed. 
officially and unofficially. Case closed. Uh, any others? Anyone interesting on that side of the galaxy? Oh yeah, a rather shy but sweet hydrogen core cluster intelligence in a Class 9 star in the G45 zone. It was in contact two galactic rotations ago, and it wants to be friendly again. Yeah, they always come around. And why not? Imagine how unbearably, how unutterably cold the universe would be if you were all alone. Well, once again, that was Dare Made Out of Meat by Terry Bisson. Thanks for stopping by today. As always, I'm Todd Tyler, and this has been The Couch. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Todd's Couch, or you can hit me up on Twitter at Todd's Couch. I'll see you next time, here on The Couch.